that over there. The Sadducees, they're dealing with Jesus. Well, this is great, because the Sadducees, really smart. And you know what's going to happen? They're going to ask him some question. He's not going to know it, and it's going to be great. They're going to trap him, and they're going to silence him. And finally, we're done with him. Then we can start spreading all these bad rumors about him, and we can say bad things about him. And you watch. You watch what the Sadducees do. Watch what the... Wait. They look shocked. Now they're starting to walk away. It happened again. Every time we try to silence this man, Jesus, he comes up with some good response. The people follow him, and we look stupid. And all we want to do is follow the law, you know, like the Ten Commandments. That's all we want to do, and yet all the other laws go with what we believe. But you know what? Every time we try to preach this, this Jesus comes along and he starts teaching all this stuff about love and stuff. Well, let me see what happens here. Let's start planning something. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to ask him a silly question. We're just going to come up with something. I know. Why don't we ask him, what is the most important of all commandments? It'll work fine. Trust me. Okay? Here we go. Now, you know what? We're going to send one of our people over there. So he's heading over there now. And there he goes. And there he goes. It didn't work. He's got the same thing, the shocked look on his face. And now his head is bowed, and he's coming back to us. What did he say to you? Deuteronomy. He quoted Deuteronomy. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Love your neighbor as yourself. I mean, look, I understand that the Ten Commandments, which come from the book of Exodus, are right there, and I understand we're called to follow. But now he turns around and says, love. What can I say? I can't argue with that. It's in the book of Deuteronomy. The people can turn around and say, say that, you know, I'm arguing against the Bible. It's the scriptures. Deuteronomy says, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Love your neighbor as yourself. And yes, I have to admit, those are the two basic things that are at the bottom of the Ten Commandments and everything else. If we love one another, if we love God, then we're doing all the rules. I understand that, and I can see how Jesus is just calling us to a whole new level. What can I say? We try to get him to understand it's all about us maintaining the rules, and when we maintain the rules, the people will live their faith the way they're supposed to. But no, he doesn't listen. And now he's got all these people following him. What bothers me more is his apostles. All 12 of them, they're all together. This is one, one of them seems a little bit, you know, may, maybe we can turn one of them, but the rest of them, yeah, they're pretty solid. And it's that whole love thing. It's all about, let's forgive one another. Do you know, two of those apostles, there's no way they would have gotten along. We couldn't get them to get along. Matthew, the tax collector, Simon, the zealot, for crying out loud. They weren't part of our group, but any time we saw any of those two together, forget it, it was a mess. And now, all of a sudden, there we look. We see those two are getting along. It's all about loving one another, forgiving, you know, not spreading rumors about one another, not saying bad things, supporting each other, being there for one another, praying for one another, all that stuff that he says that, you know, i got to admit, I mean, they're a little bit more solid than we are. Of course, what unites them is their love for Jesus, and what unites us is just trying to keep the rules. I don't know what we're going to do. What he simply says to us is, love one another as I have loved you. That's all he says. What he says today, what he said to him today, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Love your neighbor as yourself. If we're doing that, we're following what God's will says. That's all he says. I mean, no matter how hard we try, we can never argue against that. I don't know. We're going to find a way to deal with this guy, Jesus. And we're going to find a way. Silence his movement. I'm going to tell you it's going to work. But one way or another, we're going to find a way. God bless you.